Santa kiss? George? Hi guys, I am back. And I was gonna do a Parent Tip Tuesday for you guys, but I didn't know what would be my next tip. It is actually Tuesday, so I was like, hmm, if I wanna get a video up on Tuesday, I need to make it kinda short. So unfortunately, this is gonna be a short one like it was my last Parent Tip Tuesday. I am actually going to answer a few questions. I think I only have like six or seven questions here. I went through the comments from my last Sunday video because I was trying to see like if anyone was like, hey, can you do it? tip on X, Y, and Z, but I couldn't find any. And then also I don't know which ones Marlene has or hasn't done and I obviously don't have her here right now. And I found a few that are easy to answer and can be a little fun. You guys did ask me about my field my veterinarian field and my veterinarian technician field and that I think is for a whole other video. Also a lot of you guys said about a YouTube channel but as of right now I guess I'm gonna answer that question. I don't even know what to make a YouTube on. Like I think it is a lot of work and it's something that you definitely have to commit to so there's that. For today's video I have a few questions that are simple, fun, and you'll get to know me a little bit better. So the first one I have here was by Brittany H. She asks does your family share all the animals or does your family have their own pets like Marlene has Picasso and your brother has Ty? First of all, Brittany, great job at spelling Ty correctly. Second, the way I see it, maybe my brother doesn't or maybe my parents don't, but I have a feeling they do. I see as all our birds and all our dogs are ours and the dog or the bird <laughs> kind of is. I feel like the one who picks who is ours is the bird or the dog rather than we pick who's our animal, if that makes sense. Good question though. I have another question. I may mess up this name, so excuse me. Berenice Estrada, she asks, Hey Jenna, my question is what is going to be your next pet? My next pet. There are two main pets I was thinking of next, okay? Either a bunny rabbit or a cat. One top of the list is a bunny rabbit and it is because I love ears. Bunny rabbits have the best ears. So I definitely want a bunny. I also think they're very active. I love watching them jump around. I had a rabbit one time, but it ran away because my dad believed that it should be running around wild and free and like, let it go. Anyway, she's doing great. I found her like three or six months later and she had like, babies and she was like totally like who are you missy bye i'm wild i'm free anyway i want a bunny i just need to learn how to train it to go to the restroom in one area which i heard is very possible and is actually quite easy i don't know why i was bad at it so i definitely want to revisit getting a bunny and the second one is a cat and the reason i say a cat is because my friends have had cats or i've watched cats like baby sat cats and they are so cool like obviously there can be some that are like use crazy you don't have a cat you have a little miniature tiger my roommate had a cat we actually rehomed it very awesome home the person loves her name was Giselle so loves Giselle and totally is a great owner for him and like for some reason Giselle was like a chewer like a dog like would chew through things like a dog which I've never seen and so I obviously have a lot to learn about cats and I'm aware that they're not cuddly and squishy and that's fine I'm actually interested in them because I think it's cool that they'll randomly come to you and like play with you for 10 minutes and then disappear for the entire day and I don't know why I think it's hilarious and I think it's great and I'm so down for them to like sit on my face or sit on my chest in the middle of the night at like five in the morning and like I swear a cat did that while I was babysitting him and like he just got a little donut on my chest and started going like this with his paw to my lip and I was like I have a class at 8 a.m. and it's 5 a.m. but I'm in love with this I don't know why I thought it was so adorable that he was so interested in me just sleeping or decided to bother me like I just love that you see a bird outside? She saw a bird and got excited. Also, I think since Joey lived with Giselle and he was like, cats are crazy. I feel like he'll be more lenient and be like, yeah, you can get a rabbit. Um, another question I know was in here that was kind of similar. What is your dream pet? Probably a rabbit and I just don't know it. Like obviously I want a tiger or a lion, but no, they. I also believe they shouldn't be kept captive. Like they should be out running around, hunting, doing their own thing. They shouldn't be in my backyard or in a mansion that I have or 
whatever it is. So obviously my dream animal would be like a tiger, but more realistically, a bunny rabbit. By the way, Ashley Jacobs was the one who asked me what's my dream pet. The next question is by, um, I don't know, Schlech, but it's spelled S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H. Don't know how to pronounce that. Horse 17. You ask, what does Jersey smell like? Which, this is why I have her here, because I couldn't tell you really. So I'm gonna smell her right now. Honestly, I don't know if I'm used to her smell. Milk? I think because she plucks her feathers and we pet her a lot, it doesn't have that powdery smell as strong. Like maybe if we like didn't touch her for three days and had her outside or something like that, we would be able to smell her more. But I guess it's more of like a powdery, oh my God, I don't know. Like kind of warm powder. Let's smell your bald spot. Maybe that'll let me know what you smell like. No. Mm. So I think she is a warm, subtle, powder smell. Cody, I swear, smells like a lamb. Sometimes he smells like a fish. He's getting much better now, but he smells like this fishy, lamby, kind of like, but then powder. I'm saying he, but I actually think it's a she. Oh, why are Conyers my favorite type of parrot? Hoppy Chan asked me, why are Conyers your favorite type of parrot, Jenna? Which I actually answered in the video. It's because they're small, they're colorful, and they have a lot of personality. And I just like rambunctious creatures. So Conyers are like this like tiny little thing and they like demand a lot of attention and they're just adorable and you just wanna eat them and like they burrow in and they like like sleeping with you. They're not afraid of things. I don't know. And then I've always had a bond with those Petco Conyers are freaking amazing. They're like so socialized and I've always had a bond with them ever since I was a kid. Those are my questions. I also added Katie GTV. She said, yes, Jenna girl. And I appreciate it because yes. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yep, my sister's amazing and she'll be back tomorrow. So regular videos will be coming right up to ya. Okay guys, bye, thank you.